Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get data from your Aviva Historian up into Aviva Insight. So uh, what I've got here is uh, I've got a small bakery uh, simulation running uh, in system platform. And these uh, objects are currently historizing to my historian. So I'm gonna show you the process of getting that data out and into the cloud for analysis, machine learning applications, and all the things that Insight offers. So essentially what we're gonna be doing if I pull up a quick architecture is this is what we're gonna be going over today. Just to note, it's not just system platform that can uh, be hooked into Historian. It's obviously things like uh, InTouch, SciTech, and various disparate uh, data sources that you can collate into Historian and shoot up via one single replication server. So to start with, I'm just going to close this object and head into my Historian. So in my Historian, I'm gonna go into the configuration editor select system configuration and replication. If you've dealt with a historian replication to a tier two historian before, it's a very similar process. So I'm gonna select my replication servers. I'm gonna add a brand new one. I'm gonna call this insight and I'm gonna tick the replicate to Aviva insight checkbox here. You see that the normal parameters that we would enter has now been replaced with a connection string box. So to generate that connection string, I'm gonna hit register. and it's gonna bring up the Aviva Insight Publisher. So I'm just gonna select the region that my solution is hosted in. I've already got an existing account and it's just gonna ask me to sign it. So I'm just gonna enter my password. And then I just need to give my data source a name. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to name it historian. And then I can define a location uh, for the data that I'm sending up within Insight to inform the asset hierarchy. So I'm going to call this bakery. I can provide some geolocation coordinates if I'm planning to do things like implementing maps or GIS, creating GIS views uh, within my content. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to leave this blank. These can be added in later uh, at any time in the solution. So I'm gonna hit publish. And it'll just have minimized itself there. So if I pull this back up, you can see that connection string has now been populated. So I'm gonna hit next. I have a store forward path already defined. So it's just pre-existing, so that's fine. But generally you'd wanna set this up such that if the link between historian and insight goes down, the data that you're logging will be logged to flat files. And then when that connection is restored, it will be pushed up to uh, make sure there's no gap in the data. So I can change various settings to do with my uh, replication, but for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna leave it as default and hit finish. You see now that Insight has been created. So I'm gonna head into Insight. I'm gonna go to simple replication. And I'm gonna add some of my tags from the system platform installation that you saw before. So I'm going to add my dough bin weights. I'm going to add my mixer information, my motor information, and my oven temperature. I'm going to hit apply on all those and close. So we're going to simple replication. You can see that those tags have now been added. So now I'm just going to commit pending changes. And then I will switch over to my insight. And then what it's doing in the background is that it's going to add in those tags and create a tag dictionary. So just while it does that, uh, I will just pause the video and come back when that's all up. Okay, that should be enough time now. So if we head into search, I can see a list of the tags that I've uploaded. So you can see here, from my Dobin objects, I've got my Dobin weight that I can select and chart. And if I zoom in on this, what you can see is that it's actually pulled in the alarm detail from system platform 
which has been historized into historian. And it's pulled that in and now it's showing halos over areas where my tags are currently in alarm. So it carries over a lot of that configuration from historian. So things like uh, alarm levels, it will log it into an actual alarm database as well within Insight. If I just pull this up now. You can see here that it's imported them all from the system platform installation. And that is just how easy it is to get that data from your historian into uh, Insight. If you have any questions or any further queries about how to get data up into Insight, do feel free to contact us at Solutions PT and we'll be happy to help.